Dear friends, welcome to the first lecture of Digital Electronics. So let's start with first Boolean Algebra. What is Boolean Algebra? Boolean Algebra is basically switching algebra. In switching algebra, we are switching for only two values. And what are the values? It is 0 or 1. So in Boolean Algebra, the domain for any variable which belongs to this algebra. So let us suppose for this algebra we have three variables P, Q and R. So the values which P, Q and R can attain is only either 0 or 1 at a time. Right. So what exactly 0 and 1 means in digital electronics we all know this 0 and 1 is basically voltage in electrical system if we have 0 volt or minus we sometimes we denote with the minus volt also so with if it is a 0 volt then it is considered to be false and the value which we have chosen in numeric system that is 0 we have chosen here and for plus 5 volt 1 is chosen right so let us consider this three variable p q and r which belongs to this boolean algebra and the value could be 0 or 1 so there are some properties that belongs to this boolean algebra there are four property or you may say the four law we'll discuss one by one so before that Let's see what are what are the functionality, what are the operation which we can perform on this variable. So the basic operations are or and and not. So what could be the value of P? what could be the value of p so p can have 0 or 1 so there are two variables p and q and there are two operation i have written here plus and 0 right so plus means or okay so this is two input or right so what could be the value of p here it could be 0 or 1 right and Q Q can be also 0 and 1 so you have P set here and Q set here this could be 0 and 1 this could be 0 and 1 so how many pairs how many mapping you can make out of this for 0 of p it could map with 0 of q for 0 of p you could map with 1 of q similarly 1 for 0 and 1 for 1 right so if i write p and q for 0 of p q could be 0 and 1 right and for 1 it could be 0 and it could be 1 and you already know that this 0 0 this is in binary if it is in binary what would be the equivalent in decimal system it will be 0 0 1 it is 1 1 0 it is 2 1 1 it is 3 so let's write 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 right now what is this or the or gate is symbolized by this symbol okay so what is or any value in or if you have n inputs how many inputs n inputs right if 
any of the value of this input is 1 that is true then the output will be true what it means that input sensitivity for OR gate input sensitivity for OR gate is 1 so if I find at any point of time that I come up with any of the input as 1 that is true then we don't need to check for others the output will be straightforward 1 so that's what OR gate is so let's start with here P and Q 0 0 first I start with here is it 1 no is it 1 no then output is no let's start with here is it 1 no is it 1 yes so true is it 1 yes no need to check the Q it will be straightforward 1 is it 1 yes 1 so 1 now coming to this AND gate which is denoted by dot in case of boolean algebra there are many other symbols also for AND operation so this dot what is this this is AND AND operation AND operation on boolean variables so the input sensitivity for AND gate is what zero if you find any output any output sorry any input any input as a zero then the result will be zero always right so because and means what everything has to be true and I want this also and this also and this also if any of the any of the variable whose value is not true if it is false then it will make the entire expression as a false right so the input sensitivity for the AND gate is 0 so if we check and if we found 0 output will be 0 no need to check further okay so let's start with here 0 okay we got it 0 so the output will be definitely 0 here we also got 0 it will be also 0 here we got 1 so check for another variable next variable which is 0 okay we found 0 output will be 0 here we have 1 here we have 1 okay no more variable left no more boolean variable left so there is no more 0 there is no 0 so the output will be 1 so and so you uh, try to figure out this OR gate is always true except for the 0 0 if both variable are or if you can say if all variables having false value then the output will be false in case of OR if all false then only false in case of AND if all true then only it will be true right there is a principle called duality principle of duality it is very unique okay let me explain first this then I explain principle of duality okay so we have a basic knowledge about this input sensitivity for and operation and or operation so there is also one gate called not gate okay what is gate we'll discuss it later but just understand it these are the operation on the variable so this is the not operation so not operation always perform on a single variable single boolean variable so let's say this is p so if the value is 0 the output will be 1 yes it will be toggle and if the value is 1 the output will be 0 and it is denoted by sometime bar on it or sometime not of it 
in case of programming okay so let's move to idempotent law idempotent law says if you do and with the same variable as many as time you can do so p dot p dot p dot p dot p the result will be always p only so p is a variable here similarly it says if you do or n number of times p plus p or p it will be p only idempotent law also says if you do or operation with one that is true or operation with true it will be always true how we all know the input sensitivity for or gate is what one if it is one this will be always one okay if it is zero we cannot say that output will be always zero input sensitivity for or is not zero remember it is one so in this case if the second variable is zero we need to check for the second variable if the if this uh, first variable if this variable is zero and this is not input sensitive sensitivity so we will check for another variable and the output will depend upon the second variable so the output will be p only right similarly in case of this if input sensitivity the input sensitivity for and gate is zero so if we apply and gate with any of the variable and one of the variable is zero always zero if that is always zero it makes entire expression as a zero why because if one of the variable is always false and we know input sensitivity for and gate is zero so it will make entire thing as a zero right so here p dot zero that is and gate with any of this uh, zero will be zero always in case of one we need to check p again variables again we need to check the that is p right commutative law what commutative law says that what do you mean by commute 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 means from one place to another place you can move right and still you are the same right commutative law so p plus q the result will be same as q plus p right so if you do oring if you do oring or on any of the boolean variable let's say two variable p and q and if you do the commute that p is commuted to q place and q is commuted to p's place then the result will be the same that is output will be the same in any of the combination in any of the combination right similarly with the and operation sorry similarly with the and operation so if you do and and you commute the variables the result will be same now associative law what does associative law says so okay if you start do oring from left that is it is first we will do or for these two variable from the left hand side and we do or from the right hand side and then we do again so this will evaluate and this will with some variable then uh, some values then this value will add to the r in this case this will evaluate first and this will add it to p 
so here we are computing from right okay so this is right associativity and this is left associativity so if we follow left associativity and right, uh, right associativity the result will be the same this is what the associative law says you can compute uh, you may take three variables and uh, make this mapping okay and then compute whether result is same or not okay same with the and p dot q dot r is equal to q dot r and then ending with p or p ending with result of q and r what is distributive law okay this is very beautiful distributive law what it says you have operation q plus r here right and you have a p variable in in a tricky way this p variable is waiting to consume is waiting to evaluate this q and r first right this p is waiting to evaluate q and r first so what you do you just distribute these two for p so what it means right so p q plus q plus p r so i am distributing i am distributing p over the q and again i am distributing p over the r instead of computing q plus r first and ending with p so both the result will be the same that's what distributive law says this one is very good p plus q r p plus q r is equals to p plus q and p plus r so how you are distributing this is and here so i am distributing p over this q and p over this r so p plus q and then p plus r and what was the operation between these two q and r it was dot that is and so p plus q so p plus q r is equals to p plus q and p plus r so you distribute this p over q and r right the principle of duality i'll explain principle of duality in upcoming lectures guys please subscribe do like and share the video thank you